All right, so in this lesson, what we're doing is we're using our knowledge of congruent figures to find unknown values. So that might involve sides or angles. So in this first question, if these two shapes are congruent, okay, if you're told that they're congruent, then that means they're exactly the same size and shape. We've learned that already. And we can use that knowledge to determine to determine which angles go together, okay? So I can see that these are right angles, so the right angles are going to be a pair. I can see there's a small angle here, so I'm gonna say that this angle pairs with this angle. And then that means that this leftover angle here pairs with this angle here. Now I'm gonna do a double line to signify that, okay? So that, therefore, what we can say is that Y is equal to 60 degrees and X is equal to 30 degrees because we know that they are congruent shapes. Okay, so for this one, again, you'll be told if they're congruent or not. So you're being told that these are congruent triangles. So we need to decide what goes together. Now, we've got these side length uh, measurements on there which show which ones go together. So this one has two lines, so that pairs with another side that has two lines. I'm talking about these lines here, one, two, one, two. Now this seven centimeters only has one line, so it's going to pair with the other side that only has one line. And then also, I know that these match, but there's no values or um, pronumerals there. So th that side probably isn't very important to us. So, but what we can say is that B is going to be equal to six centimeters and that C is going to be equal to seven centimeters because of the line markings and we know that they're congruent. All right, so again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and determine what's the same. Now, these are both right angles, so I know that they're gonna be identical. Um, so I can see that this is a reflection. So that would mean that this angle is the same as this angle, and that this angle is the same as this angle here, okay? So in order to figure them out, D is just going to be the same as 48 degrees because they are the same angle. Now to find C, we haven't been given a value here, but from a previous lesson, we know that the interior angles of a triangle add to 180 degrees. So to find C, we're gonna go 180, take away 48, take away 90, because we know that this is a right angle and then that's 90 degrees. I can do that on my calculator and that's gonna give us 42 degrees, okay? All right, so with congruent uh, figures, finding unknown values, you just need to pair up what matches. So you can use color coordinating to help you. And then you can just straight away find what it's equivalent to, or you might need to do some solving to try and figure out what an unknown value is.